Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, I figure I might as well finally get off my butt and grab the Palador Magisite. I mean, it's just kind of lying there, so... You know, I want to at least get all the characters, fight all the bosses, get all the espers sort of thing. And I also need this magicite in particular for something else. Alright then, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. In this segment, I've got to take out the darlings on the way to the Owser's house, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, because they give the XP, which means I have to avoid the EXP. Gao pretty much can't be touched because he's got a snow muffler, a thunder shield, and a white cape, but unfortunately those things all drop magic evade on him. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I actually want him to have as little magic of fate as possible, but a single spell from them can could sink the run if uh, he doesn't have those things available, so. Gogo just has 126 M block, plain and simple. One, two. There we go. Not sure why this light is on. But I think I might have accidentally went, walked in here, turned it off. I mean, turned it on and then walked outside and saved at some point. Like, that's kind of cheating because I had my eyes open for that. But like, you can see me flip the switch. I hear if you want. Off. On. Yay. And it definitely didn't actually accomplish anything. left, all the way down, which isn't very far, all the way left, which also isn't all that far. Then I walk all the way down through the art gallery. This area kind of, was kind of just muscle memory from uh, when I did this fast-forwarding to practice, because I had to fast-forward through this area quite a bit in order to get back to this fight to see exactly what the best way of going about it was. And the best way of going about it seemed to be legitimately just counting. It seemed to be the most, uh, accurate test that I could think of. So that's what I'm going to do. I just need to get the counting right, because... Alright. Alright, let's switch to Go-Go first, because I need to bring him up. Alright. Tools. Bioblaster. Yes, I am using Gogo -Go for tools when Edgar is just lying in the party dead, but it's a lot easier that way, trust me. Oh yeah, right, they're still doing stuff, so let's, uh, actually... One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 
77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. Alright, let's just hope Muddle connects. I don't get told anything, because Gav doesn't seem to block me with the shield most of the time. Alright, let's hope that the enemies were the ones who got Palidored and not my party. Oh good, they were, because I got Cure 2. Let's see if I got the timing right. Wait. Dang it. I am not 100% sure what happened there, so I am not going to remove the blindfold yet. I don't think I did it right, but... Because I did have an enemy land. But I swear I didn't hear the first enemy die at all, so... I might be able to handle a smaller... Uh, the XP from only one of them with these two party members. So... Alright, all the way to the right. Left one to go to the other side of the chair. And then I just walk up all the way to the top, which is fairly easy. I'm not expecting to be keeping this, but if one of them died, then maybe I'll keep it. One, one of them died in the air, that is. Because if they die in the air, they don't get give the XP for whatever reason. It's pretty much one of the only ways to end a battle. The other way is a sneeze, but obviously don't have access to that. The only time that comes in handy is if you want to learn Bad Breath without leaving Kefka's Tower, which is actually, you might not believe it, but it's actually kind of handy to be able to do that. On occasion. Depending on what the challenge is. Because there is a uh, certain someone in the final boss who uses mostly magic spells and can be muted and Bad Breath helps a lot with that. Left one, all the way down. See, so yeah, now I gotta spend a while walking out of side of Jador only to probably restart anyway. But at least this run ended in some sort of result. That's good enough, I think. Do you think it's good enough? Right. Left and down for a bit. Hold down for a bit. Left and down for another bit. Hold down for another bit. And hopefully I should make it out of here now. Yeah. So let's uh, get in the airship and check my levels. Goku's still level 8. With 57 EXP to go. Oh, apparently he got hit by a multi-target magic spell or something because he's at lower HP. But that shell from the force shield kept him going. Alright, so... I'm still not 100% sure whether this is going to... whether I can count this as an end of the segment. Let's, for once, make it easier for myself by moving it, the cursor down to save all. Uh, so I guess you'll know sooner than I will whether I'm going to be keeping this or not. Alright then everyone, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, oh wait, yeah, right, this is halfway through an episode, so that was kind of pointless. I do my intro at lots of pointless times, and I don't do my intro sometimes when it should be necessary, but whatever. Left one. Actually, let's turn it up a bit. There we go. That should help because sometimes I miss that door noise up top and I don't want to miss it here. 
I mean, I don't want to miss it any other time either, but... Alright. Two to the left. There we go. I made it. So, for this mini-sode, I'm just going to be taking on the still life that's halfway through the uh, dungeon here. And unfortunately, I've got no clever tricks or anything to get around the EXP, so I've just got to do the old dump it all on Gal method. I mean, I could just not get Realm instead, but... I... I prefer this method better. I could always wait to get Realm until I have Mog on my team and redo the Dawling fight so that neither Mog nor Gao gains a level. I think that's possible. However, the issue is Realm would just join a level higher anyway, so it wouldn't be helpful at all, really. So I'd be just trading a level here for a level there, and it's kind of pointless. Short bit down, short bit left, all the way down to the bottom. And this is really annoying because I have to have Gao in my party for this, but I can't have Gao in my party for the boss because otherwise Realm will join my party immediately. I can't leave, which means I have to go through the halfway through the dungeon and then backtrack left. Alright, there should be a door coming up soon, and I just gotta make sure I hear that. There we go. Up one, and now we're in the dungeon. And this is another vanish means random, all random encounters do nothing to you dungeon, so look forward to that. Thank goodness, though, because all the thrown weapons in here are pretty much instant death anytime they hit someone, so... That's why Gao needs Vanish, even though I can achieve perfect defense with them. One step to the left. Well, I made it into the dungeon. That's a good sign, at the very least. Hello, random encounter. I escaped you. Since I only have one character who's reasonably fast, I can't really call that as a preemptive strike right away, but it might have been. I don't have the Gale Hairpin equipped right now, because it would only help me escape from battle slightly faster sometimes, but the back guard is much more important, because if it, I get a pincer attack, well, uh, bye-bye, Gao. Uh, so, this isn't somewhere where I take a step back, so I just go to the left. I could take a step back and then go to the left, and I would keep with my uh, sort of theme of memorization for this dungeon, but then I'd run into the near that painting, and I'm going to be doing that later, I suppose, because it'll hop out a little bit more there. I can run from the encounter that comes up when I run near the painting, so that one's no biggie. One up, one left, and I can go with the Moogle suit. Yeah, I can turn into a Moogle! But I already have a Moogle on the team, so... It's not too spectacular, I guess. All the way down. That should be good enough. Hopefully. If it wasn't, I would uh, have gotten indication that I had been doing things wrong fast enough anyway, so... And now, all I get to hear is that... Every couple seconds in this room. It's actually not anno all annoying at all when you're not blindfolded, but for some reason it's actually starting to irritate me a little now. Ah, well, I was about to get the hidden chest. Well, at least the noise stopped. And unfortunately, warp stones don't work in this dungeon. What a pain, right? That would be nice in a dungeon where I have to backtrack, and I don't see why they can't work. I mean, this is technically inside a town, but that doesn't mean... But they can enable warp stones by screen, so why wouldn't they just do that? Alright, so the pot... The little pot thing there helps... Hurts me on the way in, but helps me on the way out. 
in terms of cutting out steps of memorization and stuff. Did I actually get the treasure? Or did I just uh, hit that battle and leave? I am second guessing myself now. So I'm gonna go back to the pot. Thankfully, this air this room's pretty obvious in terms of how it's laid out, so a mistake like that isn't gonna do me in. One step to the left, all the way up to the top. Yep, I got the chest after all, so... Yeah, wasting my time. I guess I could save at the save point halfway through and then make it into four mini-sodes, but I'm not gonna bother. Because I've already got the route planned out, and uh, provided I don't mess up, I can't die here. But I could at least use it to check whether I got that chest correctly, but... Uh, I think I did, so I'm just gonna go with that to the left. Now, at least this noise, what it will do is when I leave this room, it'll tell me. Nope. Nope. Well, I gotta do it this time or I mess something up. Yep. So I'm through into the next room. Down one. A lot of the areas in here... Whenever I do something, I have to take a step backwards afterwards. I don't think anything in here can hit me. Continue on to the left. One step back. Up. The good news is there's doors and sound effects everywhere, and this place is really compact and super easy to remember, so this is definitely one of the easier dungeons to navigate. Uh-oh, is this a random encounter, or is it the, uh... Well, I guess I can try running. Let's see whether it works. <laughs> I guess I should have thought this through beforehand. Yeah, it seems like I'm not running, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Mesosaur. Now let's hope he... Yeah. He's done that every single time. Yep. That noise tells me for sure that that was in fact the battle there. Alright, so I'll run up to the top and instead of going straight out, I'll go right to and then get, hit the save point. go. Can at least take this off to... Yep, level 14, unfortunately, but... I don't think I'll ever use this relic ring, but might as well make sure I have it on me. It is kind of unique. Could save it at 9 minutes, but, you know, I'll just keep going. I know I burn got burned by that just a couple seconds ago, but... Alright, so now here... I, I can walk straight back into that room with the doors, but they aren't moving this time. For some reason, when you walk back out into this room, it doesn't start up the door circulation. The doors just act like normal doors. Which means I can't run up to the top and then... Uh, just run right, because the door would be in my way. Uh oh. One second! One, two. Yeah, that's bad timing, but I had to answer. All the way down. So now I leave this. I'm practically out of here. Why did it make that noise anyway? That's weird. Left, and then all the way down.
Alright, hopefully this should be... This will either be the last or second last random encounter, probably, with one more fixed encounter on the way out. Because, as I alluded to earlier, I'm gonna run into that painting. I mean, it's perhaps not the fastest way to navigate out. Oh, no, wait, no, that's not part of my route anymore. Silly me. Because that would be slower than the route I am actually going to take. Right and down for a bunch. And not really much easier to memorize. One, two, three. All the way up to the top. Now I should almost be out of the area with the random encounters. If I start getting random encounters after this, I know I messed something up. All the way up to the top. I think I might be able to get encounters in this little dark room here, but... I'm not 100% sure about that. But more importantly, now I can go down. So I should be out of random encounter zone. In fact, I can check. Did I make it? Yeah, I probably did. I mean, there are a lot of doors in the area, but... Oh yeah, right. And I have to go back in again, because... I'm supposed to just walk out and then not move anywhere. Otherwise, I'm not in the spot where I know how to get anywhere from. All the way right to the chair. Then I can just leap Gao onto the belt so that I don't get EXP, and fight Chatterduck, finally. But first I have to get there, obviously. Up to the top, so I'll hit the bookcase. Unlike when I fought the Dowlings, I actually hit the chair instead of having to back out behind the chair before I walk up here. So that's handy. Lighten up. Actually, I have in mind for a second to hit the light switch to tell me when I've reached the end here. I might actually be faster than what I'm doing, but then I just hit the light switch again to turn it, the lights back on. Left, down. Now I should be out of uh, the Owser's house. Hopefully that's the case, because I'm definitely not getting any random encounters yet. So I feel like I did everything up till there correctly. Just don't want to have a mistake here. Something like that. Alright, don't get my way, annoying NPC people. Hopefully that all went correctly. Oh, wow. Uh, that wasn't what I expected to happen, but it <laughs> works. I guess I must have run left and down just a bit too far. That's not right. What was I on before? There we go. Alright, one more portion to this, and this one should be the shortest one for you guys. Alright then, everyone, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, uh, right at this moment, I'm kind of recording in the middle of a random hallway, <laughs> I guess, so I, I kind of hope that no one walks through here right now, because, uh, that would be awkward, I suppose. It's pretty quiet at this time of night, and it honestly seems to be the best recording spot I can find. Let's be honest here. One to the left. I can't do it in my room because my roommate's there. And the lounge I used previous semesters at my residence here is being cleaned right now, so... Yeah, I kind of don't want to do that. Because... I mean, I'm not sure if... Also, that lounge is farther away, so I might use this as a recording spot more often if it works. So far, I've only had two people run through here in about 
the last 20 minutes or so, so, and they were just in and out because, you know, it's a hallway, so. I should stop talking and start going somewhere. Door noise. There we go. Haven't practiced this route since I did the earlier mini sods of this segment, which was actually a few days ago, but it should hopefully be simple enough that I'll make it through, especially since I don't need to make the return trip, which is probably the harder half. So I've probably made it to the light switch. Left. Don't have to go that far, just up the staircase. Down a short way. Left short way, but a little bit longer. Down all the way to the bottom. Sure, you're probably getting sick and tired of seeing this part by now, considering how many times it's happened. But don't worry, this is the last time. I'll never have any reason to come back here again after I uh, defeat Chatternook, so... One back up, all the way to the left. Chatternook should hopefully be pretty much cake, as should most of the bosses from here on out, really. Now that I have Stepmine and its uh, magical glory, my damage output's just so high. I mean, for a game like this where there's no enemies with HP higher than 65,535, that's pretty good. Up one, all the way to the left. However, this boss may be able to tank a couple extra step mines thanks to its uh, whole gimmick and stuff. Considering there's a female half, and if I hit that, it just that's useless, right? So one to the left, all the way to the bottom. I can't get trapped in the painting again, but no need to change my route because that's pointless. I should start getting battles soon, at any rate, unless I made a mistake. Up, left. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I actually managed to hit the door and I'll get into a battle before I actually walk through it. <laughs> It's unexpected, but I'll take it. Saves me some screen transitions. I guess I don't need the relic ring, and I know it's straight left from the pot, so that's easy. Don't even need to do a test run, I can just... <laughs> this area is easy enough to navigate that I can just make adjustments like that on the fly. All the way to the left. Oh wow, I got pretty lucky there. Because the door stopped changing right away. Down. Left. Now I'll get another door telling me where I am. In case it wasn't easy enough to get through here. Wow, uh, second battle that's right inside a doorway. <laughs> what are the odds, right? We got the back cards, so it can't be any sort of uh, shenanigans here. Alright, so. Now I fall out of there. And then fall out of there. And then right to here. Down, right, and up until I get into this doorway. And I did. No battle in that doorway, apparently. Boy, this is such a short. I only got into like two battles. Oh shoot, that's not where I want to go yet. Three battles? Uh, sorry, I don't actually. Left. Yep, right there. And apparently someone did walk through this hallway, uh, my Dawn actually, but... Sorry, I do not have an HDMI cord on me because 
The only TV I have to plug it into has a screen smaller than this laptop, so that's kind of pointless. See you next time.